SmartPeer are pleased to announce the release of their AQA specific smart sheets. This is an electronic PDF extended question resource which has a combination of both six and nine mark questions. We would recommend that you print a planning and answering sheet on A3 paper that looks like this. Then use the smart steps to help break the question down. The first step is to read the question carefully, twice. Then, if you need to, you can use your specific smart cards that are indicated in the bottom corner, or you can scan the QR code to access a video tutorial on the topic being questioned. Next, highlight the command word and summarise what it means. Then, highlight the topic or content words and note down some of the key terms from that topic. Next, highlight the qualifier word. This is what you're going to be linking your answer to and providing specific examples from that sport or activity. Next, highlight the amount of marks available and don't forget to write down the breakdown of the assessment objectives. Now you're ready to start planning your answer using the structure in boxes. When writing in each of the boxes, make sure you're only writing brief notes. The first row of boxes is for assessment objective one, recall of facts. Try to write about three facts that you know about from the topic in the question and write one fact in each of the boxes. For the assessment objective two boxes, you're going to try and link your fact to the qualifier word in the question. You may try to give a specific example from that sport or activity that is linked to the qualifying word and the assessment objective one point that you made in the box above. Next is the assessment objective three box. It's important in this box to make a reasoned judgment. So in this particular question, you need to make a connection between the use of different somatotypes and their suitability for a long distance runner and the impact it is having. For a nine mark question, you can also use the last assessment objective three box to make a synoptic link to another topic that is not being questioned, but might actually be closer linked to the topic in this question. And this is encouraged by the exam board. You're now ready to try and write your answer out in full. Try to use some of the linking words in the box at the top of the page, as this may help you to access higher level marks. It's completely up to you how you write out what you plan for in your answer. You may want to write out all your AO1 points in statement 1 box and all your AO2 points in statement 2 box, then all your AO3 points in the third box. However, it is encouraged to use a blending approach where all the assessment objectives are linked together. For example, in statement 1 box, you would write one AO1 sentence and then link their AO2 and AO3 sentences together. They would then repeat the process for the second and the third paragraphs or statements. When you've finished, don't forget to read through all of your answer and check that you've used linking words and a combination of assessment objectives and the conclusion. When marking the question, use the mark scheme to identify the number of assessment objectives and where they have been achieved, and make a note of this in your mark scheme sheet and then complete the feedback sheet. To purchase smart sheets, visit www.smartpe.co.uk.